Thelma. I'll get it! Thelma, I've not told you I can't stand it when you holler in the morning. I'm sorry, doll. I just didn't want you to be late. Hey, how you doing, little housewife? Louise. Yeah, I still have to ask Daryl if I can go. You mean you haven't asked him yet? Thelma, is he your husband or your father? Thelma and Louise are going fishing. How come Daryl let you go? Because I didn't ask him. <laughs> He's going to kill you! I left him a note. <laughs> Thelma and Louise are going to catch hell. I'll have a wild turkey straight up and a coke back, please. Thelma! Oh, what? Tell me something. Is this my vacation or isn't it? Did you see his butt? <laughs> Thelma, have you lost your mind? Woo! I'm uh, Investigator Hal Slocum, Arkansas State Police. You get your butt back here, Thelma, now. As you know, we've tapped your phone. What? Maybe you got a few too many parking tickets. Uh, tell me what happened. You're getting in deeper every moment you're gone. You want to step back and get in your car again, please? I swear, three days ago, neither one of us would have ever pulled a stunt like this, but if you was able to meet my husband, you'd understand why. What? Boys, shoot the radio. The police radio, Louise. Got it. Thelma and Louise. How do you like the vacation so far? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be drinking margaritas by the sea, Mama Cita. This man shot Walter Delacroix two times in the back of his head and raped Hope Percy and stabbed her 17 times. In the courtroom at his sentencing, he was smiling and chewing his gum. He is an unfeeling, perverse misfit, and it is time. You've put in a request to be the spiritual advisor to Matthew Ponsolet. This boy is to be executed in six days. You must be very, very careful. Well, Matthew, I made it. You've never done this before? No. You've never been this close to a murderer before? Not that I know of. Mm. What is a nun doing in a place like this? I just want to help him take responsibility for what he did. I like being alone with you. You're looking real good to me. Death is breathing down your neck. You're playing your little mad on the make games. You're a white supremacist, a follower of Hitler. Hitler was a leader, but he was on the right track that the Aryan was master race. You are making it so easy for them to kill you, coming across as some kind of a crazed animal, Nazi, racist, mad dog who deserves to die. You leave. I'm not going to do that. You want to be there to comfort him when he dies? This is an evil man. But I didn't kill him. I didn't kill nobody. I swear to God, I didn't. I ain't going to get no chair, Daddy. I'm pissed all them kids for being parked out in the woods that night. Pissed all their parents for coming to see me die. Blaming the government, you blame drugs, you blame blacks. What about Matthew Ponsolet? What, is he just an innocent? If you do die, as your friend, I want to help you die with dignity. And I don't see how you can do that unless you start to own up to the part you played in Walter and Hope's death. From writer-director Tim Robbins. Don't cry, Mama. I don't want to see no cry. Don't execute this man. You can stop this from happening, sir. Comes the story of one woman's unquenchable courage. Where you stay? Up there. And one man's last chance at life. You are a son of God, Ned. Nobody ever called me no son of God before. Call me a son of you know what's a lot of times. Never been a son of God. Susan Sarandon, Sean Penn, Dead Man Walking. seeing our boys succeed. Uh, but of course, we're here to discuss Igbe. Igbe Slocum was given everything a boy could want. What exactly do you think you're doing here, Slocum? The Ritz Carlton was full. But what he wants now is out. I'm on the lam. You doing school or something? No. How old are you, Igbe? I'm 18. I'm very close to being 18. You want to stay here? I'm Oliver, and this is my little brother, Igby. What kind of a name is Igby? 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 Igby! It's the kind of a name that someone named Sookie is in no position to question. 
That's my uh, godson, Igby. How you doing? Good. What can you do? How did you end up at military school? Mimi. You call your mother Mimi? Heinous one is a bit cumbersome. My son hates me. That's always been one of his favorite topics of conversation. What can you do? What are you planning to do with your life, Igby? Go on my razor's edge experience. Discover the meaning of life. Whatever. Your little vacation's about to come to a rather abrupt and severe end. I believe that certain people in life are meant to fall by the wayside. To serve as warnings for the rest of us, signposts along the way. Your brother is looking for you. We gotta go now. I gotta get out of here. I'm not going with you, Igby. You think you're what he wants? He will let you. Shut up, Sucky! You're just a glutton for punishment, aren't you, X? United Artists and Atlantic Streamline invites you to a world of wealth and privilege. Chin chin. Chin chin. Where insanity is relative. <laughs> Now I'm very tense about all of Igby's trouble. Mimi, get off the mate. Igby goes down. A serial killer has New York City by the throat. 11 murders in 11 months. Every day it's another girl dead. It's getting so I don't want to get up in the morning. They need a tough cop. Shh. Listen. What? The wine. It's breathing. Does anybody know this guy? My name is Lieutenant Nicholas Starkey. <laughs> Find it. Superimpose that on the map. Find it. How do we face the terrifying spectacle of Nick Starkey? What he may do, what he may not do. A whoop de doo and la di da. I'll tell you what I do want. All reports, background of any kind on every one of the murders. I don't work for you, you work for me. Get it? No matter what the mayor says. Did you miss me? So, did Nick agree without a fuss? No. I'll let him cook dinner for my wife tonight. What do you think? I hate it. I understand you had dinner with Nick. I think he's much more interested right now in your daughter. What are you talking about? Just look at your cigar and think of your daughter. So we're gonna go to bed. And then tomorrow, you're going to catch the killer and save the girl. Okay. Oh, how am I doing? The January Men. Murder, corruption, comedy. What a way to start the year. I hate this job. I think you're dead sexy. I want to kiss you, big man. He's a redhead. Oh, natural? The whole Magilla. You don't even like me anymore, do you? I hate you! I'm your husband. I know that. You're the one that forgot. Oh, shop it! What's the trouble, kid? Nick's been shacking. A man is here to shit proven guilty. I am right on. Boom! I cannot face this world. What's the problem? I'm a married man. <laughs> so if you see my Marriage is combat, son. And not clean combat. <laughs> You just twisted the cap off the tube, buddy. Yeah. Show me your love, Nick! Well, let the music play. I like a woman with a backside as big as the world. The carrot tops, they feel more. Well, it's scientifically proven. What? You prod them with a jolt of electric shock, they feel more. He got a loose one. What did you say? You were meant for me. I almost love you. Is a free man! What is going on here? It's poetry! Hey. Blah, blah, blah. I love you. Maybe, maybe I don't know how to show it. I did do in the movies or in books, but I have love to give. I'm qualified to satisfy you. We're a crazy family, but. There's love still here. No!